This is Mike Porter, NGA Pro Bodybuilder. Today we trained at Fit For You Health Club in Traverse City. Um, I'm about 5'10". Right now I'm about 2'10", 2'14", depending on the day. And uh, my last show was almost a little over a year ago. I did three shows in the, kind of the spring, summer area. And I actually won all three of them. So my plan right now is to take a couple years off, try and work on some different areas, and then come back and do a couple, fall, a couple shows in the fall and uh, try and put myself up against the best of the best and see how I do, so. Okay, and that would be 2019? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take three years off, which I've never taken a long break, but it's gonna be 2019 when I step back on stage, so. Yep, it's gonna be a little bit of a break, but uh, if I wanna do some improvements and be able to compete against the best of the best, I need to take that time off and work on my improvement areas, so, yep. Okay, uh, go ahead and take us through your workout you did today, bud, the movement you did, what you like about it. All right, the workout today, Jeff put me through a hard one, let me tell you. <laughs> we started off with some rear delts. I've been trying to improve my rear delts and my back, so that's kind of a focal area. So I started off with that to try and pre-fatigue them. So we started off with um, some, oh, some reverse pec deck rear delts. And I did, uh, I was probably doing most of my sets today were 8 to 10 reps, and I may have failed on a few of them. But uh, So I did three sets of probably 10 reps and then I was supersetting it with a, a band where I would do like 40 reps to really just fatigue it out. So I did that three times. After that we moved over to, um, I'll call it like a, a, an incline bench where I laid against it and I did my rear delts and then I supersetted that with kind of a seated rear delt where I lifted up my elbows. Uh, and then after that we moved over to like the Smith machine or the machine, I don't even know what you call that machine, but anyways it's a machine where you would just uh, pull your elbows down and work on your rear delts. And again, I was doing eight to 10 reps, something like that, whatever I could do to, to burn them out with the weight that was there. Uh, once we were done with that, I moved on to shoulders. So we did some uh, dumbbell presses. And again, I went kind of heavy, where I was doing anywhere from, I think it was 12 down to eight reps. I uh, did three sets of that. After that, I moved into the, the easy bar curl, where I sat down and I, again, did some presses over my head where it was eight, 10, somewhere in that rep range, just to burn them out. Once I was done with those, I moved into the lateral movement to try and get the side head of the shoulder and uh, started off by machine laterals. And again, I was doing, oh, about 10 reps. And then I was doing, I call them flyaways. I don't know if there's actually a name for them, but that's where I just kind of hold my arms vertical and I'll bounce them up and down a hundred times. And it just, it burns like crazy. So again, it just gives me that uh, complete fatigue of the, the shoulder. Once I was done with that, got to look at my notes here because there were so many things we did today, moved into some traps. So again, a focal point for me is trying to work on my lower traps. So again, I'd lay down on an incline bench and I will pull my shoulder blades together, just doing a real tight contraction, just to really fatigue that muscle. And then I'll finish it up by doing some, I'll call them just normal shrugs. So it fatigues them and it, it really works the muscle well. Once I did three sets of those, then I moved into what I call a trap laps. So that's where I'll pick up some weight, I'll do 10 shrugs, then I'll hold the weight up high so the, the muscle's under tension, and I'll walk down the pathway, which is probably 50, 60 feet. Then I'll do 10 more at that end, and then I'll come back and I'll finish up, and I'll do 10 more at the end there. So I did that a few times. After that, we moved into biceps. So we started off with some machine curls, or machine, uh, I'm not even sure what you'd call them, but some machine curls. And again, I was doing eight to 10 reps just to fatigue the muscle. Um, after we did three sets of that, I moved into spider curls and uh, just did eight to 10 reps on those, whatever would burn it out. And then once we were finished with that, we moved into, uh, I go to the lat machine and I put a curl bar on there. I'm not again, and there's no name for it, but it's just something that I do. I curl it behind my head for as many, like 10 reps. And then I lean back and I pull the, the bar towards my forehead. And again, it's just really fatigues the biceps. So it was a pretty, pretty lengthy workout today. Hopefully we got it all, but uh, yeah, it was fun. Working out with my buddy, Jeff. So how are you uh, feeling where you're at with your off season, bud? Um, what are your main goals for next year to on stage? Um, main goals for, I feel like I'm doing pretty well. Again, I just need to keep focused on those body parts, like the outer sweep of my quads, the center of my back and maybe the center in the upper part of my chest. But, uh, you know, it's been a nice off season. It's, it's been nice for me to take a break because it just becomes so engulfing. 
if you just think about bodybuilding 24 7 so again i had to take a little break step back a little bit but that reinvigorates you to to be able to push hard and get ready for that next show so Diet has not been, I made myself quit tracking my macros just because again, that'll consume you. But what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that I eat six balanced meals a day, trying to eat relatively healthy, trying to eat, you know, more uh, good carbs, but it's, I'm not eating super clean, but I'm eating, I guess, cleaner than the, norm, the normal person would be. So just consistent meals and consistent gym work should produce some consistent growth. Well, good deal. We'll be catching up with you as you uh, get closer to being again, man. Go to everything's going well. All right. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it.